everyone. This tutorial will show you how to add students to your course blog using the Add Users plugin. This is what your students will see on your course blog after you add and configure the Add Users plugin. Your students will be able to see the Add Users section on the sidebar. Students can enter the password that you have set and click on Add Me button to register themselves to the course. This tutorial is divided in two sections. First part, where you'll be adding the Add Users plugin and configuring the widget for your course. Second part is where you'll be notifying students of the two-step process for adding themselves to your site. You may choose to notify students of the sign-up process either by email or via an announcement in class. Attention to this step will reduce confusion and get your class off to a good start. So first, go to blogs.ubc.ca and click on the CWL login button. Log in to your site. Click on My Sites. Look for your course blog that you would like to add your students and click on Visit Dashboard. Next, go to Setting and click on Reading. Set the site visibility to either allow search engines to index this site or to discourage search engines from indexing the site. This is to make sure that the setting on your blog allows users to find it without having to log in first. This will reduce the chance of problems during the adding phase. You can always adjust these settings later if you want your blog not to be visible to the public. Then click on plugin from the left sidebar. Look for add users sidebar widget and click on activate. After you have activated your plugin, go to Appearance and click on Widgets. Click and drag on the Add User to the sidebar where you would like to make the Add User button to appear. I will put the Add User to the primary sidebar. The options for Add Users has appeared. Insert the title and edit the text for button. For my title, I type in Contribute to the course blog. You can select either of subscriber, contributor, and author depending on the level of access you want your students to have. Subscriber allows students to manage their own profile. Contributor will allow students to post on your course blog but cannot publish. Author allows students to write and publish the post. I will set the permission as subscriber. It is recommended to set a password to your course blog Setting a password will avoid random users registering to the website. After you have entered the password, click on Save. Now you have completed the process. If you go to the site, you will see the Add Users is added to your widget. Since you are the administrator of your course blog, what you will see and what your students will see will be different. This is what the students will see after adding the widget. After you have added the widget, the most important process is to inform your students through your email. Here is the example of the email I wrote. First, inform your students to get an account on blogs.ubc.ca. They just need an account. Second, ask your students to access to your course and add yourself to the blog with the password provided. Remember to include your blog URL and the password in your email. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. See you next time.